everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah little piece of the life and stuff part it is time for tea you should always take some time for tea or whatever refreshing beverage or re relaxing beverage that you like just take a little time for yourself every single day I happen to really enjoy tea I pay for a subscription to sips by which is a monthly subscription box that gives you an assortment of teas um, based on criteria that you plug in. I pretty much tell them I want to try all the things and all the varieties and that's what they send me. I get a good variety of things. Today's tea is called Zest Tea. Energy Tea. Super Berry Samba. There's the beep saying it's about time for steeping to be over. I'm going to let it sit a little bit more because this is more than eight ounces of water. They do tell you, you know, how to brew it and how long to brew it and what temperature to brew it at. Uh, matter of fact, for this one, they also send you an information card, by the way. This is the tease that I got for April. This is Super Berry Samba by Zest Tea. One sachet per eight ounces of water, 208 degrees Fahrenheit which is just under boiling. So don't let it be at a rolling boil, be it a little bit lower, okay? Steep for four minutes. In it is green tea, tea extract, natural passion fruit flavor, safflower petals, natural strawberry flavor, and natural acai flavor. Hmm, don't know what all that is gonna taste like all together, but we'll find out together. It says coffee level caffeine. Yay, caffeine. Uh, zest tea contains up to 150 milligrams of caffeine per cup. That's about the same as coffee or three times regular tea. It helps keep you focused through the day without the jitters or crash. Now, how do they know we're not going to get jitters or crash from caffeine? Hello, that's what caffeine kind of does. Anyhow, that's what the card says. That's why I'm telling you about it. I do like their packet though. It ripped open very neatly. This is the one that is not ripped open, obviously. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice tea sachet packet there. I do have my clothespin holding the tag to the outside edge just in case it gets kind of wild and stupid and tries to go away. And let's see what this looks like. I am showing it in my clear mug. My no, I will not fix your computer mug because no, I'm not going to fix your computer. Not anymore. Anywho, it's kind of a little bit of debris coming out of the tea bag and through it. So there must be some itty bitty tiny bits in there. Nice to be able to see that through this mug, by the way. And boy, that really poofs up. It was not that huge and full when I put it in there. So very poofed up. I'm going to let it drain a little bit into the mug. Get a little bit of the extra water out. I have a little plate down here to stick it on. Okay. Because I don't like leaving my tea bag in the tea while I drink it. I think it just, it ends up making it too strong and bitter sometimes. Oh, I smell fruitiness. Didn't get that when I first opened the packet. I was like, mm, I don't know what this is going to be like, you know? Mmm. But the hot water definitely brought out some nice fruitiness. Maybe that's all the little bits and bobs that are in the bottom. It's not big bits. It's just little tiny bits that get, go, go through the, the tea bag that's there. Okay. And if you've been here for a minute, you know, the extremely hot water of tea burns my face off. So I have to cool it off a little bit. It's some fruitiness that I think could use some sweetness. If you don't like your tea sweet at all, you will love this because to me, I like some sweetness in it, but I'm gonna try it again a little bit. It doesn't have any real bitter notes. It doesn't have any weird taste. It doesn't have any coffee taste. And like last week, it definitely does not have any chicory taste. Okay. That's nice, but for me, Gotta have some sweetener, I believe. This is the generic stevia sweetener that you get at Aldi. I use one packet of it in a cup and partially on my leg because I let it shoot all over the place. I'm so clumsy. I think I like about that it does dissolve nicely pretty quickly as well. So give that a good stir around. No, Oscar, it's not for you, it's tea. Yeah, the sweetness really helps bust out that fruitiness a little bit. 
I can't really identify each of the fruits that they talk about in the ingredients, but it is a very pleasant fruitiness without being fruit punch. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, we have some elegant fruits here that we would like you to try on this little tiny plate. That's kind of what it is. It's, it's kind of fancy tasting a little bit. All right. But unlike most green teas, I'm putting some creamer in it. I'm also dropping other stuff on the floor, but I'm gonna put some creamer in it. Creamer also, this creamer is a vanilla creamer. And I found that uh, vanilla with the cream usually makes some other flavors really pop. Well, you drop some of that creamer in there, it just totally changes the look of it. Nice. Yes. Absolutely. For me, personally, that's what this needed. It needed a little bit of creaminess and a little bit of that vanilla flavor to really bump it up. And the vanilla actually brings out the fruitiness more. So this is almost like a dessert. Mm. And because it wasn't fully boiling when I put it in here, it's cooled off just enough where I can actually sip it. Mmm. And also this morning before I came in here and decided to record some videos, because I do record most of my videos on the weekend, just to let y'all know, um, I saw on YouTube, which I will link down below, a video by uh, Dan, oh, I can't remember his last name, but it's, it's What's Eating Dan, and he's on um, the America's Chef, America's something kitchen. kitchen. America's Test Kitchen, thank you, Peanut Gallery answered, and he's always informative and fun and he like focuses on a topic and this morning i saw one that i think was from last year sometime about tea very very interesting a lot of stuff that i didn't know and he's always fun to watch so i'll try to link that down below and hopefully you get a chance to take a look at it definitely very very cool and no i will still not fix your computer hope you're having some tea today have you ever tried this uh, zest tea, high energy tea. What do you think about the caffeine? Hmm, maybe I can get something done today. Woohoo! <laughs> I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.